members of this yeshiva, I feel the walls exploding with happiness. With the upbeat guys and carrying your bane, I always feel happy and satisfied. One day in 11th grade, when I was feeling kind of out of it, Rabbi Dibitz came over to me and said, Yossi, let's get out of here. And he took me for a Slurpee. He just took me to yeshiva and we, we grabbed a Slurpee. With that kind of caring, I feel that, that that's what shapes this yeshiva. The Rebbeim here instilled in me both tenacity and passion for life. I know for a fact that the Rebbeim here don't help their Talmidim because they have to, don't help their Talmidim because they get paid to, they help their Talmidim because they love them and it's what's really in their heart. One thing that I will greatly appreciate this yeshiva for for over the past four years is the Rebbeim. How they're always open-minded and that you're able to talk to them about anything and they're willing to listen no matter what the situation is. I came to Yeshiva Torah Chaim just two years ago. Being a new student in the Yeshiva, the first thing I recognized was the warmth of the Rebbeim, teachers, and community. I feel as though within the Yeshiva, I'm surrounded by family. Family always there, supporting me and pushing me to grow. There's no better feeling than growing in an environment so full of care. When I first came to Torah Chaim in ninth grade, I was, uh, I was the new kid, because I think most of the guys had already been together for a bunch of years, so I was a little apprehensive and I was already expecting the worst, but I noticed that when I actually joined the class, it was a seamless transition. I was very surprised, and I think it's not only because in our class, the guys happen to be tremendous human beings and really, really good people, but also because our Rebbeim are very good at establishing relationships with each and every Talmud outside of the classroom. And as a result, they're able to really teach us how to learn and also how to act to each other. Three days ago, I was learning with two ninth graders and I was listening to them read the Gemara. And I thought to myself, wow, I sounded like that when I was in a long time ago and I was trying to read the Gemara. I sounded like, I, I was worse than that actually. And now I actually understood and felt that like, wow, I, I gained so much in Torah's time. I remember when I was in ninth grade, unable to handle a day of school, unable to focus on sheer, unable to read a line of Gemara. Truthfully, at times I was nervous that I wouldn't be able to handle in base Medrash. However, I feel that Rabbi Dudovitz, Rabbi Gita, Rabbi Dreyfus, Dr. Jacob, and Rabbi Goldman removed my doubts, each pushing me to limits that I felt I could never reach. Now I'm excited to enter Beis Medrash and I feel like I have an advantage over everyone else. Throughout my four years being in Torah Chaim, I've grown in both the area of secular studies and in Judaic studies. I think this growth is mainly due to the connection that I've had with my teachers and Rabbein throughout the years. Whenever I needed someone to speak to, there was a Rebbe there to lend a listening ear, there were teachers you could talk to when you're having difficulties, and I think this has really helped me succeed throughout my four years in Yeshiva Torah Chaim. When I came here in ninth grade, I still remember how hard everything seemed. Everything seemed way too over, above my head. The learning, and even though we had some breaks, it was still like way overwhelming. Now, once I'm in twelfth grade, everything becomes much easier. All the rabbis and all my friends, they make it that much better. I would like to thank Van Hola for providing me with four great years in Yeshiva Torah's time. To all the Rebbeim I had, thank you for preparing me for my future years as a true mentor. When I first came here in ninth grade, I thought I understood what learning was all about. But now, four years later, I see that even now I can barely reach its true depth. Only now I can begin to appreciate the true beauty of learning Gemara. I feel like every year in Yeshiva Torah's time, I grew tremendously, even though at first I wasn't able to recognize it. There are many things that Yeshua Torah's kind has done for me the last four years. One of those things is that they helped me master my skills at Gemara learning and prepared me for the years to come in base Medrash. Here in Torah's Chaim, the Rebbeim are there for the students. They've always pushed me and encouraged me to reach my full potential and complete all my goals. I would like to thank them for all the hard work which really prepared me for my life ahead. Torah's Chaim has taught me that there's always a lesson to be learned from everything that you do. That there's nothing that's done for no reason. And I really appreciate all the wood all the Rebbeim did for me. I came to Torah's Chaim this year and I didn't know too many people, but immediately everyone was very nice and incorporated me and I became very friendly with me. Rabbi Goldman and Rabbi Winter, the two 12th grade Rebbeim, were very nice and always made sure that I got whatever I needed. 
Thank you, Shiva Taurus Chaim, for your endless dedication and unmatched patience into turning me into a Ben Torah. I know that the education that I received starting in Torah MS Academy and continuing on through the Rohr Middle School and Yeshiva Torah Chaim will stand me in good stead as a Torah Jew. I hope that I can lead the life that my Rebbeim have modeled for me in and out of the classroom. This year we had an opportunity of a lifetime to go to Eretz Yisrael with our class, the entire class, and our Rebbeim. It was unbelievably amazing. We started off the trip right away, you know, we dropped all our bags, ran to the coast cell. It was amazing, it was very inspirational. And you had Rebbeim there to, to look at them, to see how they acted. And you look at all your classmates and share in, in the emotional moments. And not only that, we, you know, we went to Kiva, we went to Kiva Rachel, we went to Maris Nachpela, we went to see Rabbi Yashem to see the Komus Agdolom and Svas. It was really an unbelievable trip. <laughs> One great thing about Yeshiva Torah Chaim would probably be the friendship and you know the all-around greatness of the guys that are here. I transferred here two years ago, and at the beginning it was a little hard for me; didn't know anybody here. And due to the guys' awesomeness and everything like that, I fit in pretty easily, I think, and I like to thank them. I've been fortunate enough to have a class in this yeshiva, which made things happen. Our learning, meals, breaks, little trips, every little thing has become a memory which has lasted a lifetime, at least so far. Yeah, I'd like to thank my class, my friends in the high school and the base managers who have always been there for me whether it's to talk to, to learn with, to help me out in any way, to do some sort of chesed, or just to hang out and have fun. It's, it's the time that I spent with them which really created a, a family environment. We got very close and really promoted my learning throughout the four years that I was here.